Hi, my name is Sir from school. I want to tell you about the ergonomics of the G3 and why it's a total ergonomical disaster. When they made the gun, they designed it with very low sides. Because of the low sides, the calm comes very low. The opposite is M16. It has one and a half inch high sides and it's a straight comb. But not the G3. They lower the comb more than an inch. This is forming the hump. The hump is smashing your face and it's pretty hurtful, especially in prone position. And your face will always be against it when you're shooting prone. So to avoid smashing the face, they extend the length of pull. So this G3 is made in 1961. It had a 15 inch length of pull. That's a terrible long stop. Uh, the M16 a1 have 12.87 and the M16A2 have 13.5. Looking at, at the Macmillan stocks, I mean any, any stock for a Remington 700 like, uh, they have a spacer system so you can go from 13 to 14.5 to inches. And here we start at, at 15. It's a terrible stock. And shooters, they don't know about it. They don't think about it. They just feel it feels like it's a very long gun. The gun itself is not very long. The barrel is not very long. It's the stock that is long. And it makes the rifle feel extremely cumbersome. So shooters are automatically compensating by holding the support hand at the magwell around the magazine. The problem is that they, they have very poor control of the gun then and the muscle rise is severe. They can't control it. We have worked around the solution for that and I started to play around with it and I took an original wooden stock, chopped it off uh, about three inches, uh, put on a very coarse piece of wood on the top and tried to shoot with it and it was amazing. It did amazing results. So I took one of the favorite stocks, the Magpul CTR. I'm using that on my Air 15s and I'm very satisfied with it. So I made a new uh, rear piece for, for the G3, uh, installing a normal AR-15 buffer tube and the CTR here. It works great. The problem is I couldn't keep the, uh, the, buffer, uh, the internal buffer from, from the G3 because I put up the buffer tube. So I had to put in a rubber piece instead and that is not a good solution. I don't recommend it. Not for 7.62. For 5.56 nanometer it's fine. So, uh, when we went into the procurement with the Swedish Army, we designed a new stock. And a new stock, it's designed so we have the buffer tube down here. It's about an inch lower than another buffer tube. And we have a cheap piece riser and we have the butt ply tight about an inch higher than a normal stock. This means that we get a recoil straight in line in, in, in the shoulder and by having a stock that is adjustable from 12.5 inches out to 15.5 inches, so anyone can get what they want, six positions in between. You can actually put your support hand very forward on, on, on the forehand, and you can easily get very aggressive shooting stance, and you control the recoil very well. The gun is amazingly easy to shoot with. Uh, even for a person that is like 6'7", very tall, a 15 inch length of pull. It's too tall, it's too long, it's, it's a terrible length of pull. So I heavily recommend against it. Um, shorten them down, uh, drop the iron sights, use optics, or put, up, put on backup iron sights from an Air 15 or whatever, so you, you can raise uh, uh, the sight hand. That will solve the problem. Otherwise, I think the G3 is a fantastic rifle. It's one of the most reliable rifles there is. And I think it will stay strong for many years to come. But it needs a, a decent length to pull. Thank you very much.